Just like you, I am just as surprised. I did not expect Sonic content anytime soon. Like, it's actually surprising that they're doing this. Like, <laughs> I saw it, my friend posted it in my Discord, and I was like, oh snap, it's that time. And it looks like we're getting either game news and upcoming things that, you know, like for the anniversary, maybe some new merch, new things for us to buy as fans possibly game news for the future of next year because i'm pretty sure there's going to be a game next year not this year and probably re-releases and that's even more interesting considering that we didn't get any news for last year up till now so now we have something to actually look forward to in these two days and everyone's speculating what could this new update be um for sonic central what are they going to be showing for the anniversary for sonic's 30th anniversary obviously um but let's read it right here sonic central may 27th 2021 9 o'clock a.m pacific standard time and in 12 p.m eastern standard time tune in for the first look at some of our upcoming projects partnerships and events to celebrate sonic's 30th anniversary youtube.com slash sonic and then twitch not TV slash Sonic. I don't even use my uh, Twitch that much, so I should be looking out for anything Sonic related on there because I could be missing out on potential news since I don't. Finally, Sonic's actually back, and it's been a whole year with no content. I'm mad about it because not only did we have to wait such a long time watching videos of people arguing and talking about like what's gonna happen or Sega's not doing this and that and they finally came out and they're like yo we're giving you this content drop not it's not like like actual like yo we're dropping this shadow dropping a game but like this shadow dropping like kind of like a Nintendo Direct so it's like all right I'll watch because Sonic's gonna be there and I'm happy about it because now we get game news or whatever. Plus, they had the leaks for Sonic Colors Ultimate. And then people, I think, are saying that um, the leaks for Zipper are right, which is uh, having Sonic 3 and Knuckles back. Or they're going to have a certain collection for us to buy, which is also fine. Uh, and that sounds very promising. Definitely. I'm probably going to have to cop both of them. Even though I, I'm not going to say I dislike Colors. But realistically, I would be, I would be more inclined to grab Adventure One and Two. Not like a remake, but the remasters of those games. Even though they have like you know, um, I'm pretty sure it's uh, the volume mixing and uh, just overall audio in the game is kind of like a little bit bad. It's kind of jank. But other than that, the game is still playable. Play that on the Switch. I can take it on the go. That sounds like a fun time. But I don't have problems with colors or getting, you know, Sonic. Uh, I was about to say Sonic Adventure 3. No, but Sonic uh, 3 and Knuckles and Sonic 1 and 2 in that order. It makes you think, will it be like Gems Collection or would it be like the Mega Collections where they have all the games compiled? Maybe they might even add mania to the mix but then again i don't want to get mania again because i already have it so it's no point of having another the classic sonic game built into it i mean they could do that i'm pretty sure zippo said that in one of his leaks the earlier one where he was just talking about uh sonic news and all the games that are coming out that it's gonna all be in there possibly which is fine I guess it's justified like $30. I'll pay the 40 if, if anything, if we're getting Mania in there plus the plus Mania plus. <laughs> it's, it's weird saying that. Also, they also released a video for Sonic's 30th anniversary. Probably, it, I'm pretty sure it's called Unstoppable. So let's go watch that right now. All right. Life oh, man. is not a game. At least, I felt that that's one. what they tell us. That is true. Especially when things get tough. Oh, Sometimes damn. We just need a little inspiration. Ah, uh, see, that's the perfect dad supporting your going. needs. And, to remind and us loving the Sonic. Get them together, rings, buddy. Nothing can stop us. Look at those illustrations! Those are clean, bro. From games 
History of Sonic Ops, so good. To movies. And every moment in between. Thank you for being there. Every step of the way. Here's to the next 30 years. Oh my. Aw oh man. I don't even know what to say. It's actually clean. Well, now we get to talk about the collection that has been leaked from different sources that um, Sonic Ultimate, Sonic Colors Ultimate, and this collection has been spotted at retailers. And basically, now we have even more news. So hopefully in the next, what, the next day tomorrow when we get the news, hopefully they'll show us Sonic Colors and or the collection, which will be cool. Now, it's confusing because we don't know exactly what's in set collection, but of course, um, Zippo said that it's definitely going to be Sonic 3 and Knuckles or Sonic 3. That's fine, but we already going to know that, we already know that Sonic 1 and 2 is going to be packed with it. That's no brainer. But what if they add CD and many more other Sonic games, maybe Sonic and Knuckles by itself and, uh, even, even more games. I would personally like Sonic R, but that's just me, but... To change the topic real quick, Sega's also mentioned about making a super game, and that's even more interesting because that made me think, hmm, a super game, what are they even trying to do? It says, challenge towards creating large-scale global titles, develop of new FPS title at European studio, utilize of IP assets, and create aimed for 3 to a 5-year release. As you can see right here, it also says Japanese publisher Sega recently releases financial report for 2020. The financial report are annual presentations that detail the company, how the company has performed in the previous physical year. For Sega, each physical year begins in March and lasts for 12 months. Amongst other details, the financial report details the creation of the Sega Super Game. And I feel like Sega wants to use their IPs more, so now they're going to try to make a Super Game to market all the ips that they've had trapped in their closet for years so that that's interesting and this is this isn't just a throwaway term for sega and then they they're, they're trying to describe this big uh game that they're trying to release and it's not like one of the big releases either the financial report lays out specific plans that that uh are needed to happen in order to make the game happen that includes plans for investment growth now sega will be using its intellectual properties moving forward so that is one of the biggest things to take away from this whole thing regardless if i want to say this is interesting or not i've been seeing a lot of people talk about them using their ips and utilizing all the things that they have in order to make sega good and great again or whatever and whatnot but realistically i'm not too happy only for one thing, and it's because my boy Billy Hatcher has been sitting in the Shadow Realm for a long time. We don't even have his game released on Steam, and there's a PC version of the game. Where's my boy Billy at? Where's he at, Sega? And yes, I remember there was a clip of someone asking about Billy Hatcher at South by Southwest, I think at least a few years ago, when they were talking about Manium, when they, they showed Mighty and Ray being DLC, and... I think it was either Izuka. I was like, oh, that's funny. Billy Hatcher. I'm going to tell my, my team about that. That's not funny. Where's my boy Billy at? Where's he at? Other than that, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. It's pretty much a short video. I didn't want to spend too much time because I have, I'm busy. So I just wanted to release it, get it out there. And now that I'm done, I'm probably just going to start slowing myself back into that sonic content because i know there's a need for it but like i wasn't a sonic channel even like when i first got here like started doing youtube and stuff and i started doing sonic updates for forces as weird as that sounds someone commented on my page and said they <laughs> like yeah uh welcome to the community as like a sonic tuber i'm like but i'm not but like I guess I can slide in. No, just slide in there. But we'll see what happens. If I update, then I update. Um, but definitely check, make sure you guys subscribe 
to Sonic Central or the, the main Sonic page for the news for tomorrow. And make sure you be on Twitch for the live stream. And if you want, you can also subscribe to my channel, you know, get that, get the new Sonic YouTubers going. And, um, you don't really have to subscribe to me, I'm pretty garbage as is. I barely upload, I want to upload more, but, you know, it, you can take that as you will. I will be streaming live tomorrow for this event. And if you guys come, I hope to see you there. If not, then I'll see you the next time I update and upload. Alright, catch you guys later.